All right, this is the one with the graph, and you're given this, and this is Q, R, L, N, and how do they grow? Then they do something like this, and there's they call that point M, and we got a point P up here. No, you can't hardly read that. And this part's shaded, and this is shaded. And they tell you that this is four. So point M and P, M and P, so this one and this one lie on square L, N, Q, R. So we know all these sides are four since we got a square. We know we also have right angles. What is the length? And we know that L, M equals P, Q. So LM equals PQ, all right? And what's the length of PQ? Well, if we know, same thing as LM. So you said a lot, a one works, clue one works. And I believe you understand why, because they give you this length PR, and you already know this side over here is four, so you could use a Pythagorean theorem since you have a right angle. So we know it works alone by itself. Now, if I look at clue two, it says a ratio of the area of the unshaded to the total is two to one. So what can we do about that? Let's look at this triangle up here, and let's find the area of it. Area is one half base times height, and of course, the area of this triangle here is gonna be the same as this one because this length is four and we know that LM equal PQ. So I'm finding the area of this top triangle then I'll multiply it by two. So one half, and we don't know the base. That's, that's line sum at PQ, we'll just call that X. And the height is four. So that simplifies to two X. And then let's double that because you've got this unshaded region down here. So that's gonna give you 4x. So 4x equals the shaded area. Now, what's the area of the square? The area of the square is 16. So if I take 16, and if I subtract off the shaded area, I'll be left with the unshaded area. And remember, I'm trying to find this x, or this x over here, the same one. So 16 minus 4x, represents the unshaded area. So this is what I'm trying to find using clue two. Unshaded area is 16 minus 4x, all over total area, which is 16, four times four. And that equals two to one. And we're not going to do it, but you could solve this equation for x. And that's what we're trying to find because I was letting line segment PQ be x.